guys. Welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm getting a few of these videos out of the way uh, because the tears, they wet my lips and they're so tasty. Mm. All the people that think they're so much better and, oh, look at my lavish lifestyle and I do nothing all day. The dead weight is being thrown off the ships because when the ship goes down, dead weight goes first. And the reason why I love this stuff is because these are in the entitled brats on dating apps and in the real world that look down their nose at working everyday guys and they're like, I am so much better than you. And now these crybabies need therapy. <laughs> now, now they're traumatized because they're finding out what the real world is like instead of going to the, you know, the, the, $100,000 a year university, and then getting these cushy jobs. Now they get to see what the real world's like that the rest of us have to live in. I found this, uh, and then I've got an article to read here. I'm not playing through this whole thing. You guys have heard it before. I'll play the first five seconds. Back with another realistic dude. Oh, that's not loud enough. Life at Google Seattle. Get to the office at around 6 a.m. to be. Right, okay, so Miss Cutie Pie here. Oh, back to the office, and I work out of the gym, and I eat, and I eat, and I eat, and I eat, and I'm fat, and I'm getting fat, and I'm going to get fatter. Uh, cause I'm only 22. Actually, she's not fat yet. Cause if you, if you actually go back to this video of her in the mirror, she's not fat yet, but she's still young <laughs> cause she, and she does work out. Actually, she's in very good shape, so I won't call her fat yet, but near the end, what's she, she they, these TikTokers put this crap out and, and what's happening at the end of all these videos now. Oh, I muted it accidentally. Let me I try this again. Home at 5:30. Big life update. I got laid off yesterday. And there it is. Okay, so all these TikTokers that did this crap of my day in the life of, well, I'm laid off now. And then Breitbart comes out with this story. Oh, the tears. They're so delicious on my lips. How are we supposed to ever feel safe again? Because you see firing people now is violence. <laughs> I'm I'm going to hell because I love this stuff so much. I'm sorry. This this is making my year. Um, and again, all the reports that I've read is that if you are actually good at your job and you do get caught up in the layoffs, the engineers and the people that are good at their jobs are getting new jobs. They're getting rehired. But these worthless girls that are like, ah, oh, this is my easy life, they're dead weight and they're not going to find another job. And, you know, hate me if you want. This is... This is my, oh, this is my mother's milk. It's so good, it's so delicious. Um, <laughs> what is the the Ron Burgundy thing? Is it Ron Burgundy that I'm thinking of? What movie was it where Will Ferrell was just like, oh, when it hits your lips, it's so good, it's so good. Maybe that's old school. That's what it is. It's old school when he's getting ready to do Frank the Tank. It's so good. Once it hits your lips, it's so good. Anyway, <laughs> you guys get the point. Uh, how are we supposed to ever feel safe again? Google staff seeks psychology, uh, psychological safety after, after layoffs. <laughs> Google workers are feeling psychologically shaken after the company announced plans to lay off 12,000 of its work, workforce amid a general slump in the tech survey. The reason why is, can, can you imagine a blue collar like uh, automotive worker back in the 1970s that got laid off and he comes home and he's like, I gotta, I gotta talk and, and go viral with this thing and I'm gonna need emotional support. And no, the guy had to come home and you know talk to his wife about how they're gonna figure out bills and he's gonna go down to the local steel factory and see if they're finding jobs. These, these children, these grown up babies are just wanna sit in a corner and, and <laughs> seek emotional support. <laughs> I'm just, I know, I'm an asshole, I don't care. Uh, workers at the tech giant aired their dismay at one of the company's regular all-hands meetings on Monday with comments from some of the employees reported by Business Insider. Uh, the layoffs seem random, submit, random submitted one worker. I am pro Google, but I'm pretty shook right now. Help me understand, should I keep working super hard? Does it matter? Yeah, you're working super hard as you get your lattes and take naps during your work hours, playing ping pong ping pong and crap. Another Google, Google staffer asked how the company could reestablish psychological safety for its employees in the wake of the layoffs with another worker noting the company's commitment that psychological safety is paramount. The employee lamented that laid off workers were chosen by VPs who didn't know the people. 
they just don't understand our personalities and our values and how great a people we are. They they do not give a fuck about you. <laughs> they don't care. You're a widget in a widget factory. How are we supposed to ever feel safe again? You're not. You're supposed to work really hard to earn your paycheck and then be happy. Uh, but you know what? When this happens, I have to say, I bet a lot of employees are suddenly not in those nappy nap chairs and taking TikTok videos. I bet they're at their desks actually working. And the thing is, if they're not a valuable employee, they're going to go bye-bye. I guarantee this is the first of probably two or three layoffs, this uh, rounds of layoffs in the tech industry this year and in many other companies. Uh, let's see, they say, um, uh, Philip Schindler, Google, Google's chief business officer, attempted to narrow down the definition of psychological safety, explaining that it did not mean safety from layoffs or tough economic conditions. It means an environment where people feel safe to speak up where they want to take risks, where they want to solicit feedback, make mistakes, question the status quo, for example. And this is why you're getting laid off. Google does not care. They're going to tell you we're all about your feelings. We really care how you feel. Oh, the newest quarters, uh, quarterly reports came out. We're really sorry, but you got to go. They don't care, but they, they, they give this fake environment of, inclusivity and love and we really they don't they don't care the only reason they've cared is because they've been doing very good and ironically microsoft is firing ten thousand employees and they're investing 10 10 million or 10 billion i forget what it is into jet uh, chat gpt uh, uh ai technology they're getting rid of the humans replacing you with robots welcome to the real world and these people that are like oh i love google i love love my masters and my overlords they don't care about you. Welcome again to the real world. Uh, they say, while the company tries to minimize disruption, said Schindler, if you interpret psychological safety as removing all uncertainty, we can't do this. In other words, you might be gone. Google's all hands meetings have been the scene of emotional outbursts from employees in the past. The meeting followed Donald Trump's election in 2016. <laughs> A video recording of which was leaked to Breitbart News included sobbing executives, group hugs, promises to use the company's power to prevent similar outcomes in the future. That's right. Google said they were going to make sure they could do everything they could do to make sure Trump didn't get reelected. And the funny thing is that, that when these companies pull in politics, when these companies decide to take, uh, to get involved with uh, social discourse, and politics and all these other things, you're gonna to have to go one of two ways. And the currently the left's way, which is, a, oh, yay, feminism and, and diversity and inclusivity, and you're not competing with, uh, they're gonna tell you you're competing based upon uh, your looks and your, your beliefs and your feelings and what's right and wrong in the world. And, but when it comes down to brass tacks, they're gonna to have to let go of one of two things, a lot of money, or a lot of people with a lot of feelings. And these companies are gonna dance and they're gonna try to put on a happy face for everything, but money means the most to all of them. And these young people think these companies care about them and their friends, and they need to make this safe and equitable and enjoyable for all of us. And the company's gonna look and say, how much is that gonna cost us? And in the days of good money and free money, when you could borrow as much as you want, and everybody was locked down and everybody was on the internet, there was tons of money. Well, companies, you know, companies aren't allowed to go backwards nowadays. They always have to show they're making more and more money for the stakeholders or the shareholders, which are two different things. But, and, uh, and when they start going backwards, they're not allowed to do that. Now, of course they, they really are. Um, but, but the expectations over the last 10 or 20 years has been, well, pretty much since like, I think the eighties, has been up and up and up and grow, grow, grow. And, and the minute you retract or don't grow exponentially, people start, well, people, the, in, the investors start scrambling for the hills. They want guaranteed lots of money. And that's not how the real world works. And everybody's finding this out. So um, I'm enjoying the tears. I, I enjoy this whole experience. Maybe you guys think I'm an asshole um, for, for not caring about the plight of these people. I don't. Why? because I've gone through layoffs before. I've gone through the tough times. You buckle up, you hunker down, 
You may have to take a job you don't want. You may have to take a huge salary cut. Deal with it. It's life. I, you can't feel sorry for everybody going through this because the good times can't keep rolling and you can't feel sorry for everybody that's gonna go through a hard time. Why? We all are soon. That's what I keep saying. So you can be soft and care and oh, these poor people. Or you can say, hey, this is real life. This is what happens when you have the shrink back, put on the big girl panties, grow up, go get another job, deal with it, move on. Because if you're good at what you do and you work hard, you will be the one to either keep your job or find another job. It's these softies that are gonna be the ones that struggle. Thank you.